Alright guys, welcome back with Let's Play Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Dual Destiny. Where we left off, Apollo was in a heated battle with Blackwell, Simon Blackwell. Apparently, um, I, I personally think we, we narrowly escaped that one uh, with another day to investigate and see what we can learn about this possible third member of the, uh, of the, um, of the murder. This third, uh, you know, this third person. So we'll see what we can find.
anything? Yikes, Apollo, what happened? You're covered in dust. Yeah, dust. Lots of dust. So what you find? You know dust collects on something when nobody uses it for a long time. Yeah, like Mr. Wright's desk back at the office. Right. You think it'd be possible to crawl over that sort of dust without leaving a trail? I seriously doubt it. Wait, you're not suggesting... No one's gone through that dump lately. It kinda looks that way.
crazy. Not a bucking up. This is going to be one weird detention visit, visit I'm sure. Man, yeah, Chenma, we wanted to talk to you about something.
charges, I shall help in whatever manner I may. Well, ask of me what you will. I suppose it's worth a shot. Feathers and traps. Where were those feathers and traps at the scene of the crime you leave your doom? Indeed, the remnants of Tenma Dwarf came from the underworld near the and go defend my little Jinxie at once. Huh? Mayor Tenma, is that you? <coughs> it's Burr. Oh no. Do you know there's the stupid design within this body? I should have expected as much more. Be silent now, dang it.
Did you just remember something? Indeed, I did. There was but one other who knew that letter. Damien did. Florent LaBelle. Full knowledge of that briefcase contents did that aid possess. She's acting really strange. She's not going to. past noon? And what am I doing here? Last I remember, I laid down to take a nap back at the manor. Oh no, it must have been the Makora Gaisha. Makora Gaisha? Ever wake next to us and spend a suit on your pillow and in an unusual place. sleeping bag. Jinxie, how come you don't have any charms on your forehead? I don't know. They must have fallen off. Without them, evil things can creep into me. I'd say we had a more than adequate demonstration of that just now. I'd better reapply them. Jinxie, there's something we wanted to ask you. Nah, there's something I wanted to tell you too. I, I remembered something else. You did? What was it? First open the door. What? Are you sure? Uh-huh. My memory is crystal clear now. So you're saying they were left at the crime scene after you found it? This could spell major trouble upon me.
took her away. Missed my chance to see what she was lying about. Well, at, least, at least we found out there's a secret mechanism for opening the chest. Let's go check it out. I just hope they let us in now.
Yokai business was entirely of her own making. Now wait a minute. Although that Yokai evidence wasn't there until after she discovered the crime scene, did she leave those black feathers and strange tracks there herself? <laughs> Apollo, let's ask Mayor Tim about Jinxie's episode the next time we talk with him. Are you with your silly questions, though? I'm a very busy man, you know. Huh. I guess that's it for now.
for opening the wooden chair. Oh, this is so exciting. I can't wait to see how it works. But do you really think the killer entered the forbidden chamber? We just have to open it to find out. We should also see if there was anywhere the killer could have hid in this, in this room. Okay. Apparet, Apollo, Apparet. Two fox standing back to back. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, that's the cup of uh, friendship. Hey, look, there's something down here. Is a piece of what? Oh, I know. It might be a piece of the stuff. Remember what Jaycee said? I said that you originally did not depict it to the guy holding up a cup. It was a sign of good will. So this piece of work off and roll under the table. to the forbidden chamber at this rate. There's something about that folding screen. You know how those dark statues in front of the forbidden chamber move? The screen might be a clue as to how we're supposed to position them. Or something. Hey, I bet you're right. Let's go over that screen with a fine tooth comb. Two foxes are now facing each other, so... Hey, what if we made those fox statues face each other? Apollo, let's go check out the two statues. Okay, help me move these two statues so they face each other. Just... Okay, here, go here goes nothing. Let's find out what's inside. It worked. Time to see why this chamber is so forbidden. What secrets could it hold, I wonder? Key be my these, do these doors need some serious oil. Ah! That was like nails on a chalkboard. Oh, right. I forgot about those super good ears of yours. Oh, look what's in here, too. <laughs> look, more feathers.
waiting for? Let's search the place. Damn. He left something very crucial in this place. That's going to nail him to the wall. Definitely. break for us in court tomorrow. Now all we have to do is get the truth out of Mayor Ted. <laughs>
Superstitions at our peril. Mind your own business, will ya? What the hell's he doing? Yeah. Ouch. What's all this about? A curse? <laughs> Said my gonna curse us all. Let's just stop sticking their nose where it don't belong. Stop the investigation. Listen to what them superstitions say. Right. Um. How about obeying the law before you go obeying the superstitions? Huh? What are you doing with Widget around your neck? He's mine. <laughs> you know better than to go around stealing stuff like that. The same goes for my bracelet. Wow. <laughs> so sorry, I promise I won't do it again. It's quick. Just, you almost kidnapped my sweet little Widget. You made your... I'm sorry.
out some more at me. Listening to a lot, I said. Exactly what the superstition said. Well, I say that's wrong. See Mr. Tenmataro one more time. Just thinking about dealing with that yokai again makes me want to say pass. Okay. Lord Tenma, your your attorneys are here to see you, your malevolence.
Kai evidence at the scene while under a demon's power. At least that's what the prosecution is going to claim at tomorrow's trial. symptoms start soon after she began her job in Nitro. <laughs> Yes, your mother I will remember that. 
chance to get the truth out of it. Yeah, but we'll get the proof we need in court tomorrow, one way or another. All that's left now is that lie against each other. We better get, better go clear that up before tomorrow. You think they're done questioning Jinxie? Maybe. Let's see if she's over on Yokai Lane shopping for more charms.
call Mr. Dean a minute. Uh, my charms must have fallen off again. Phew, guess I can avoid the charms that by toning down my cozy spirit. Are they done questioning you, Jin Jinxie? Uh-huh. On the way back, I stopped you to buy a new charm that was just released. Yeah, which one? Oh, it's the one with the magic sauce and Tim Mataro. The chills have been dancing together. Really? Two bitter rivals dancing together? Uh-huh. Building burnt bridges. Oh, right. For the municipal merger, we should issue. No, it's for the king's merger. It's not me, I'm prosecuting. You stopped us from fighting like you did in the court this morning. We weren't fighting. It was just a big explosion. It wasn't a lawyer for me. No fighting. something back. Take a close look and see what kind of twitches. Say, just tell me. Uh, uh, like I said, he was a talking in his sleep. No one else would probably say something like that. Could you be a little more specific? Before he fainted. Forgive me, Jinxie. I killed Alderman Kyuubi. <laughs> he said. Actually confess to the crime? But he didn't mean it. He couldn't possibly have known what he was saying. He was probably possessed, or maybe he was in the middle of a nightmare. This is a This is what the state will be checking out. What are we going to do now? Holy crap. Return to the base. confession? I didn't mention it when he was questioning 
I mean, there's no way Papa's the killer. Why would the mayor confess like that? Could he really have been dreaming or simply delirious? Who knows? But I sure feel like I'm living a nightmare right now. Papa, what are we going to do about tomorrow's trial? The crime scene is locked tight until Jinky arrived. And our clients even confessed. Not only that, Jinky has been accused of planning the guilty. Both the mayor and Jinxie are going to prison if we don't do something. I know, I know. Well, let's see here. We're back in the third party. And the locked room is a major problem. Jinxie has testified that when she first opened the door, she was only keeping the only time without the people she saw in the first place. See you then.